To do experiment number 16, I am going to put a nail into this test tube with 2 centimeters or 5 milliliters of potassium hexacyanoferrate solution. You will notice that there is no blue color this time. To do experiment number 17, I am going to add 2 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to the test tube and nail from experiment number 16. This should gradually cause the nail to turn blue. You could also do experiment number 16 and 17 with one small spoonful of iron filings. With that, you will have a faster result. As you can see, it is slowly turning blue. Okay. Look right there, along the side of the test tube. Mm. There's this trail of blue mm -hmm. headed down. Yep. And the little bubbles on the nail is the acid eating away at it. As you can see, the nail that is in the solution is mostly covered with blue. I'm now going to add one small spoonful of iron filings in. Now, these iron filings are very, very tiny. Because they're so small, the reaction happens much faster. There's some that stuck to the side of the test tube. Good. And that concludes experiment number 17. Experiment number 18 is a control experiment to make sure that your hydrochloric acid does not have any iron. With lower quality products, that can definitely be the case. To begin, I have 3 milliliters of water in this test tube, and I'm going to dilute 1 milliliter of hydrochloric acid in it. Next, I'm going to add several drops of potassium hexacyanoferric solution. And if there is any iron in the hydrochloric acid, it will change color. It would also turn blue if there was iron in your water. Since there is no blue color, that means that our water doesn't have iron in it and neither does the hydrochloric acid. 
And that is all there is to experiment number 18.